Hey y'all, this is James, James' boat bill. So uh, today we got the uh, all the chine logs, the inner chine logs, all uh, done. And um, got them uh, glued up and um, it's a good thing. Thought I'd make this uh, quick video here to show y'all how um, it looks. So you can see it, just the front part is being clamped down because the last of the uh, three chine logs is uh, glued into place and um, the way I did it was uh, every stick went in one at a time and I would do uh, from frame four all the way to the stem and uh, just clamp it and glue it in place and that way it had a, a, a basis a solid basis so when it came to this point to where as it turns down and bends in uh, it would be um, it would not affect uh, this this part over here. Um, I've had um, bolts that I've made in the past, and you know, uh, for one thing, you need a ton of clamps to get the whole thing done in place, and it was just much easier to do half at a time. I really think that was the way for um, for me to do it. It, it. it worked out really good. So. Um, you know the uh the next part you know flip them is um you can see i got a nice center line down to keelson and stem and um i uh, think the way i'm gonna attack this as far as starting to get out my power planer is uh start with the keelson and uh start from uh probably uh frame three right here because this is the most flattest straightest area and uh get that nice even flow uh, to the, um, to the, uh, what do you call it, the Kielsen. And as you can see now, there's uh, a little bit of wood I got to get out there, you know, to make it a, a crown point. Whereas the, uh, the plywood, when it sits on there, it'll have a nice basis. And then moving forward, um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll start on the, uh, you know, the front section of the boat. And this is where a considerable amount of uh, shaving of the uh, the stems is going to come in. As you can see at this example, um, this is going to be the the uh, uh, let's see, this is going to be the surface where the plywood is flush and goes up to the stem. But you also could see there's a considerable amount of material that's going to have to be removed. And I'll do that with my power planer and grinder. I'm uh, going to make a, a series, or I should say a series, but for my subscribers, I'm going to make um, a nice video of the tools that I'm using. A lot of them are just common Harbor Freight um, tools, uh, throwaway tools that you really don't have to spend a lot of money, but oh boy, they're going to save you a ton of elbow grease. And uh, I'm going to make that uh, shortly. And um, I hope you all enjoyed it. But um, there's one other thing I wanted to show. Um, because there's going to be a lot of work uh, shaving down these frames to get the plywood to fit, there is also going to be an accessibility issue. I don't want to put my outer chine in because it just brings me that much further away to the center. I'm going to remove these temporary braces. So, and I'll, I'll flip this phone around. Um, that way I, I could get that much closer in to uh, the, um, the Kielsen so I can do my shaving and everything. There's just no reason for me to keep these temporary braces on here right now because obviously the inner chine is holding it uh, like it's supposed to. It's going to be like that forever. And as far as um, worrying about if these frames move out of place it really doesn't matter because they might you know go one way or the other i mean get you know they, they could obviously move a little bit but the whole structure is basically sound right now being held in place with the keelson and the two uh chine logs are there so that's my uh, plan of attack there's going to be a lot of sand dust sawdust and there's going to be a lot of shaving and i uh, look forward to that video about the tools I'm telling you, uh, I'll give you one hint. Uh, there's a power planer that you need to get. Trust me, you need to get a power planer. 
if you're going to build a plywood on frame bolt because you're going to have a lot of carving to do. I don't care whose design it is. Ask me how I know. This is my fourth bolt, right? <laughs> okay, so guys, be good. And um, you know, if you got any uh, comments or questions, you know, give us a thumbs up. It doesn't cost nothing to hit that like button. It helps spread the algorithms for, um, you know, YouTube. That's the way they get these videos circulated. And um, appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. We're going to build this bolt. You're going to see this bolt being launched. And uh, from here to eternity, so long as YouTube's around, it'll be documented about James's bolt build. And I uh, hope it's a good reference for y'all. Be good. This is James. Bye-bye.